Hey there. In this video I'd like to answer a question which was sent to me via Facebook. The question is, why are so many spiritual people hypocritical? How can it be that many people dedicate their entire lives to spiritual teachings and disciplines, but yet don't seem to possess the qualities they profess to admire or the virtues they claim these disciplines can cultivate. This is a very important question and one that I want to answer because this apparent hypocrisy can be very uninspiring and disheartening to genuine practitioners who wish to improve themselves using a discipline or teaching. I remember once when I asked myself this very same question. I'd been invited to a meditation class which was part of a school which admired clarity of thought and awareness over all things. When I got there no one knew what time this class would start or exactly where it was and there was no coordination between the organisers. What they were doing to try to bring around some sense of order and clarity was confused and often counterproductive. When we finally sat down to practice our meditation I found myself wondering if the people present possessed the qualities which they claimed to be able to teach to others. As our meditation started, a wonderful insight occurred to me. I realised that everyone in the room was exactly where they needed to be that consciously or subconsciously people have been guided to the practice which would give them what they lacked and that it was as unsurprising to find unaware people practicing techniques that bring around awareness as it would be to find a depressed person seeking a form of medicine or therapy that brought happiness to their life. I realised that this occurs throughout the world. That people who find it hard to deal with some of their desires or wants that could lead to immorality often find themselves attracted to religions or teachings that offer forgiveness and salvation. Those with very negative, perhaps slightly paranoid views of the world often find themselves part of a teaching that claims uh, to have identified an underlying goodness that runs throughout the whole of existence. so too do we find ungrounded individuals who spend a lot of time in dreams and imagination in traditions which have solid down-to-earth expressions principles like as above so below so the next time you see someone who isn't managing to fully express their ideals or the principles of a tradition they're interested in or haven't managed to fully bring around qualities through their exercises or disciplines which they lack we shouldn't view them as hypocrites but as patients taking the correct medicine as inspired people who have chosen the right path for them who are seeking 
to improve themselves in exactly the right way as they should. My name's Martin Folks, and I hope this video has been of use to anyone who's looking to remain inspired and to encourage others who are going to improve themselves in their life. Until next time, let's let every word, thought and action count.